Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a story time about my friend Sarah and I in our first apartment. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind. Um, when we got our first apartment together, we were both 19? Yeah, we were 19 years old. Um, it was really our first experience of living on our our own, you know, not in our parents' house or anything. And, alright, so, when we were 19 years old, we found a apartment, it was a two-bedroom apartment, which was in a town that wasn't too far from where everything else was in our community, so it was about, um, I would say a 15-minute drive from the town where we grew up and, like, where... Um, the grocery store and things like that were. So, Sarah tells me about this apartment. I say, great, yes, let's go. So we went to meet the landlord. The landlord's name, we'll call him Ray. And, you know, when we first walked in, he was like, oh, so will it just be you two? And we're like, yeah. And then he was asking more personal questions, which we didn't pick up on at all. We were 19 years old. So he was like, um, so there won't be, like, boys in and out of here all the time. Where Will there be? And we were like, no, haha, <laughs> we only like girls. Obviously, joking, we're both, uh, she's engaged, but I'm married met to a man <laughs> so we were joking we were like oh no we don't like guys and he's like and um you guys won't be having parties or anything like that which I don't know why he even cared the apartment was above a bar and we were 19 years old um so we were like yeah no no parties no anything like that so he agreed that we were a good fit for the um the apartment so we started getting paint we repainted everything um we started moving things in gave him the security deposit so we were all moved in um and within the first night obviously we wanted to celebrate our house together so um sarah was talking to her now fiance he came over for a little bit um we did have some drinks and then justin which is my husband we worked together at domino's at the time um he came over a little bit later and we were all hanging out everything was fine so then a few days go on and we start noticing some weird things so the first thing was like where the house was since it was above a bar you had to go up some steps so when you got to like our little landing you had to open up a door that went into like this front room and then in the front room to the left there were there was like this storage closet which ray used to put in things from the bar and then to the right was our front door to go into our apartment. Now, where that storage room was that Ray used, it had a window to our bathroom. So, I was home alone one day taking a shower and I could hear somebody on that porch. And it was so creepy, so weird. Um, so I hurry up and got out of the shower and then went into my room and got around and then just left. Sarah was home alone and she heard some noises so she got up to check it out and the door to the storage unit was open and there were muddy footprints going up to the window in the bathroom. It was completely weird. Um, we were freaked out but not... We weren't... We were so naive I guess to say so we didn't like really see it as a dangerous situation so fast forward a few nights and um sarah was there jason jason which is her fiance was there um justin was over and sarah's friend parker was over as well and we were all 
having some drinks, hanging out, not being loud, not being disrespectful or anything. Um, and Ray comes upstairs and knocks on the door. So I answer it and he's like, why are the windows open but the air conditioner's on? Why would he know that? We were on the second story anyways. So I was like, well, the windows are open because it's hot in here and the air conditioner is on, but it's on fan because it's hot in here. So he was like, well, you can't have the windows open and the air on. And I was like, it's not. The windows are open and the air conditioner is on fan. So he was like, well, you have to pick one or the other. And I was like, okay, whatever. And then he, right before he left, he was like, remember, you have to be not, or you have to be 21 to drink. And we were only 19 at the time. And I was like, oh no, it's all right. We're not drinking. But after that, things got incredibly weird with this guy. So, so Justin stayed over that night and when we went downstairs the next day to get in his car because we worked at the same place, had the same type of schedule, so we just went to work together. There was a note on his car that was like, please park the farthest away from the lot. Um, this parking spot is for bar people specifically. And that was just kind of weird because Justin wasn't over all the time. Um, he was over occasionally, so it was kind of like somebody might have been watching him because how would they know if it wasn't somebody going to the bar every day? You know, there are people that do that. So that was really creepy and we started to feel uncomfortable about that. And there was one night where... Justin stayed over and in the next morning there was knocking on the door we Justin and I were in bed I heard him knock the landlord and I didn't open the door like it was in the morning the knocking woke me up so I just stayed in bed but he opened up the door I shit he opened up the door and he said something, I don't forget what he said, and I just didn't say anything. And then you could hear him walk around, and then he left. Thankfully, he didn't come into our my bedroom, because if he did, I, I don't know what I would do. So I told Sarah, you know, hey, Ray was just here, I didn't answer, he opened up the door and came in, and then left. So... At that point, Sarah and I decided that we probably should find a new place to leave, or a new place to stay. So we were looking, we found a place, um, so we were packing up our stuff, and he was like telling us that we had to be out, which was fine, we didn't want to stay there, and then he tried to say that like we ruined things, which wasn't true at all. Um, and so the day that we were moving out, when things started getting sketchy, Sarah and I made sure that we had somebody there with us in the apartment at all times. But when we told him that we were going to leave, he was like, well, you guys said that you didn't even like boys, which was weird. Like, why would that be a valid point in his argument at all? He was like, you guys don't even like boys, and there's been boys up there, and blah, 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 which... At that point, it was just like, okay, yeah, we are 100% done. We're moving out as soon as possible, which may have been against the term of the lease. I don't remember what the lease was set for, but, like, he was super creepy. And I, I don't even want to know what would have happened if we would have stayed there any longer. Alright, so when it came time for us to move out, like, our last day of being there... He was calling me and calling Sarah and saying that we had to be there and he had to look over the apartment and neither one of us were home so we rushed, I rushed home, I was closer, Sarah was at work and <clears throat> we knew that he was in our apartment without being authorized to or without giving us any sort of notice or anything. So when we were driving back um, and I pulled into the parking lot with Justin, he was like halfway up our steps 
and I got out of the car and was walking over there and then he walked down the steps and he's like oh well I'll let you go first because I don't have a key ha 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 but he previously when he was calling us said that we either had to let him in or he was going in no matter what so that was another red flag so I let him in he walked around um, he tried to say that the air conditioner was on and the windows were open again but that never happened we never had the air conditioner actually on it was always just at the fan because it got so hot in there um, but he kept trying to say that we had the windows open and the, the air conditioner running, which wasn't true. So Sarah was coming back on her way, well, she was on her way home from work, and he just, like, left. He was supposed to give her the security deposit, and he just left. And then he wouldn't return her calls or anything, and... I believe she tried to reach out to him some other way and he said that he tried to get a hold of her but had the wrong number or something but she never got her security deposit back or anything but he was so creepy like why would you care one if you liked boys at all or or like why would he care so much about the things that we did if it wasn't detrimental to the apartment in any way I don't know, it is so creepy, but I have a ton of story time videos that do involve mostly Sarah because we had some crazy, crazy moments. So if you'd like to see some more story times, let me know. Alright guys, till next time.